Our Quicken Loans mortgage experts put client service first. That's why we've got an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Call 800-QUICKEN or go to quickenloans.com and find out why we're engineered to amaze. Other restrictions may apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. Licensed in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Welcome back, everybody. It is the PM Show with Mr. Robert Conrad. I'm Eric Hines, and we're taking your calls, answering your emails, 800-336-2225, 800-336-2225. Mr. Conrad. Yeah, go ahead now. Read read it. You're well, up. I'm up, and i got to tell you, we got this email I here. do the phoners today, and you do the writing, okay? Let's do it. Cool. All, All right, right. Go yeah, ahead, Eric. We got it, buddy. This is coming to you from Susan Ehrlich. Susan says, hi, it's me. Hope this letter finds you in good spirits and health. I was the 16-year-old you rescued on the slopes of Bear Valley, your ski buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah, she was a bit nervous to write as I wrote you one hell of a crazy letter about 18 years ago, and you were so PO'd that you came to me in my dreams and yelled at me. Oh, wow, I'm I, sorry. Apparently, I, I apologize for yelling. Uh, Robert, uh, Robert Conrad has the power of uh, psychic thought. He'll get into your brain and actually give you nightmares. Uh, but all that aside, I have no clue where you are right now, and at last... Uh, she finds you on the radio. You are a soulmate, Bob, and you should write me back. If not, I'll be happy to hit my sky pole across the back of your knees to bend them, just like you used to do to me. That's hey, sweet. I'm glad I rescued you, and I appreciate your uh, letter, and you found me. Okay? So here we are again. Yeah. Yes. Kismet. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. Now it's my turn. Your turn. All right. So now, hey, John. John, uh, who is a friend of ours? Hey, John, what's up, bro? Hey, Bob. Hey, Eric. Uh, Bob, I hope you'll be doing better than a six by the end of the show today. Yeah, well, I am already because I talk to you guys, and so that's pumped me up to an eight. So I'm an eight right now. Well, hot damn. That's great. Thank you. Hey, a couple of things from the Wild Wild West. I just wanted to get your thoughts or recollections on this. According to Dick Kanji in The Night of the Hangman, uh, it was directed by a nice, quiet sort of man named James Clark. And uh, according to him, Jim had directed some full-length movies and wasn't accustomed to the fast pace of television. And in one of the scenes you and Whitey discussed and set up a fight scene, it was to take place in a toy shop. In a full-length movie, a good fight scene could possibly take a day or two to stage and shoot. So this Jim Clark was uh, well prepared to sit through what he expected to be a long day in the toy shop. Well, the fight was rehearsed, the camera set up, Jim called action, and in just a few seconds later the fight was over, the toy shop was all but destroyed, Everybody held their positions waiting for him to yell cut, and he just sat there staring in disbelief, and it was Charlie Scott who yelled cut. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I, I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> well, I, I just wanted to see if you remembered that. And here's another thing. In the night of Montezuma's hordes, despite Kanji's appreciation of getting to meet and talk to Ray Walston and Jack Elam, his most memorable recollection of this episode was the lovely face and exceptional big eyes of Carla Borelli, who was well cast as a sun goddess. Yes, and yes. I know you remember her, right? I, I certainly do. Can't I forget that one. I, I never met a woman I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. All right, oh, Bob. Bob. Well, thank you for taking my call. Thank you for your friendship. Uh, happy Halloween, and God bless you all. Hey, God hey, bless you, you and happy Halloween. And uh, thank you so much for reading the book. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Okay. Adios, amigo. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Huh? My now, turn now? Yeah, bro. All right. This one's coming to you from Mary. She cannot wait for your album. Uh, you've already listed some wonderful, beautiful songs, many of them favorites of hers, and tonight's were all top-notch. She's glad you enjoyed that picture of her she sent last week. You know the one her Yeah, the one I thought it was the woman that yeah. worked in the... Yeah, she's wow. looking good. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, let me ask you a question. What, you wrote down those uh, songs. I'd like to have a back. Courtney does have a copy. Yeah, but she's left for the she, day. She's, she's gone. She oh, took your song list with you, Damn it, I wanted to look at it. Yeah, our own well, Jennifer anyway, Warner. Mary, uh, thank you for liking those songs. I like yeah. them, too. And I'll do the album in the summer. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to rehearse for three months, and then I'll do the album of those songs. I'm playing kazoo on that album, by the way. No, you aren't. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. All right, now it's my turn. Your turn. Yeah, hey, Brian. What's up, bro? Hey, yeah, Bob. Hey, How's you're up. Eric, how are you guys? Hey, We're Brian. good. So this is the show, just so you know. It's your emails. You know that by now, right? 
emails. That's correct. Uh, uh, I don't have calls. any emails, but uh, you anyway, got the wife. You got the wife locked up. Locked up. No, in the but you though. call in, yeah. and I for new listeners, and we get them every week, and they're wondering what the show is about. It's about you. All right. So what's up, Ryan? Well, uh, last night I happened to turn the, uh, the television on, and there was Ross Martin in a 1962 movie playing an Indian. Uh, it was in, uh, I think the name of the movie was Geronimo. And he really did a fine job, you know, of playing a serious role. You know, I used to see him when he's dressed up like that. He always had a little uh, comedy attached to his lines. But in this movie, he was all serious. And I don't know if you have you ever seen Ross play that particular part? No, I haven't. I saw him play everything, everything but the president, frankly. Well, now, you remember he did, uh, in the night of the uh, big blackmail, he did play uh, President Grant for just a little, little bit in that little kinescope that you all made. Okay. I don't know if you remember that. You know, interesting, I get pictures all the time of the Wild West, and the only thing that bothers me, and I'm a tough guy to bother, is looking back at Ross, he was such a wonderful actor and such a great friend. And every once in a while I re realize that he's passed, and it kind of bothers me. Hmm. Well, it does, does me too, and that's why we're so lucky to be able to talk to you. But now one last thing with uh, Mr. Eric there, who just turned, uh, I won't mention this. Not oh, right. boy. Thank you, Brian. But, but you know what? I'm, I'm feeling kind of old because when he was born... Black Sheep Squadron was premiering on television, and, and I was a senior in high school. So, <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, it's yeah. a young pup, isn't it? Yeah, wow, next, he's a baby. The next generation, right? Here we go. <laughs> Thank well, you, Brian. Well, have a great weekend. I'm letting everybody else get on, and, and thanks again for letting me to talk to my childhood and adult hero, Mr. Robert Conrad. Hey, oh, thank, thank you. you Happy Brian. Halloween, bro. Yeah. Happy Halloween, both of y'all. Thanks. Okay, hey, thank you. Else. Yeah, I think Brian was alluding to my birthday yesterday. Hey, happy birthday yeah, to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eric. Happy birthday to you. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate okay, that. Bro. I think happy you birthday. actually wished me a happy birthday before my wife did. Well, happy birthday. You know, it's important. Yeah, thank you. We have these much. birthdays. I, I think it's important. Absolutely. You, it's a special day. Yeah, you don't yeah. have as many as you think. Hello. <laughs> That's right. All right. Is it your <laughs> turn? Come on. I don't want to keep saying, is it your turn? I think is it, it is. Turn? No, I think well, it go, is my go, turn. Go, go, bro. Uh, question from uh, Sean Clancy. Uh, have you ever done radio as far as like uh, the radio suspense shows from the 50s? No. No. Never did any kind of like radio suspense drama? No. Shows. Okay. All right, he was just wondering. Well, all right, that's yeah. my answer. He's a new uh, a listener, and I yeah. appreciate that. Now let's go to France. Christophe, ah, how are you? Hello, comment allez-vous? Hello, Christophe. Ça va, et vous? Hey, uh, I'm yeah, fine, too. thank you. Oh, it's always a pleasure to participate, to participate in your radio show. Um, I know the chance that I have to be able to talk to you live. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure talking to France. What's on your mind? Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Today, I have uh, two questions and a, a small request uh, to you. Okay. First, uh, several times uh, during your career, we saw you play alongside Richard J. Kerr as Centennial, Wild Wild West, or Black Black Sheep, uh, for example. I want to know if he was a, a friend of you and uh, what memories you have to, about him. Yes, he was a friend of mine. He was a wonderful actor. He was a handsome man, and uh, I really, really liked him. Next question before we go to commercial. Okay, uh, in the Wild Wild West series, the musical sequences are very present and uh, often company to suspense on the fighting scenes. I found that music is uh, represented as a true character and perfectly complements the entire series. What do you think about uh, the musical sequences? We'll find out right yes. after these messages.